I'm a little tired tonight because I was up late last night on the internet. Russians haven't gotten to mine yet. And <laughs> here's the problem. Whenever I get on that thing, it's, it's great. There's a lot on there, but it just turns into a time-sucking sinkhole. Here's an example. <laughs> this morning, I went online just to see if it's going to rain tomorrow. So I Google weather. And one of the results is regional precipitation patterns. So I clicked on the link, and I'm reading about how the rainiest place in the U.S. is the Napali coast of Hawaii, where I learned on the Napali Wikipedia page the strawberry guava is an invasive species, <laughs> which, according to an external link, is not a citrus plant, but does have high levels of vitamin C, less than an orange, but more than a grapefruit, which <laughs> WebMD informs me can be bad for people with kidney transplants because they counteract their immunosuppressive medication. It's all true. I learned this on the internet. The point is... The point is, does anybody know if it's going to rain tomorrow? Because I forgot to find out. But whenever I find a strange new corner of the onlineoscape, I like to forward you the link. In my new segment, Stephen Colbert gazes into the infinite. Today, when I was internetting, a Reddit thread brought me to an imager photo where a comment brought me to a local ABC News article, which brought me to my new favorite website, CoolSerialNumbers.com. <laughs> That's CoolSerialNumbers.com, not to be confused with HotSerialNumbers.com, which is a porn site for people who are aroused by random strings of digits. <laughs> Jimmy, please, a family show. Thank you. Now, CoolSerialNumbers.com is an actual site for people who enjoy collecting U.S. currency with fancy serial numbers. <laughs> like this actual example, a dollar bill with a rare seven-in-a-row serial number, seven zeros and a two, which is listed as worth $2,500. $1 dollar bill worth $2,500. It is possible that you have been much more generous at flash dancers than you thought. <laughs> now, I'm fairly certain that most of you are no longer listening because you're rifling through every bill in your wallet. <laughs> well, keep looking, because there are all kinds of collectible serial numbers, like a sequence collectors call the solid, where every digit is the same, the double quad, where the first four digits are all the same and the second four digits are all the same. And the radar, where the number reads the same left to right as it does right to left, which means you only have to read the first four digits to know how the serial number ends. <laughs> That's a time saver. Time you could spend looking at other serial numbers. And I have to say, I had no idea you could get rich collecting money. But <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you can, because as it turns out, I have some extremely rare currency that is sure to be worth a fortune to any collectors out there who are watching tonight. Okay. Here, here is a rare dollar bill where George Washington has an eye patch. <laughs> yeah. I'm willing to part with it for a mere $1,000. If it sweetens the pot, if it sweetens the pot, he could also have a mustache. Here is, this is very special. Here's a rare dollar bill that was misprinted. See how everything's upside down? <laughs> $3,500, both sides. Look at it, it's both sides. Both sides, okay? And this, this extremely unique $20 bill has two different Andrew Jacksons on it, okay? Here, he's happy. <laughs> and he's sad. <laughs> and he's happy. Yours for just one million dollars. <laughs> if you would like any of these bills, folks, if you would like any of these bills, 
Give me a call and help me with my other hobby, collecting other people's credit card numbers.